Hey guys, DJL here from Apple Pros. A uh, quick video today, not really too quick, but uh, just showing you how to connect your MacBook, uh, your 13.3, or your, I believe it's either your um, polycarbonate unibody. Sorry if my camera's shaking. Um, I'm on my bed. Uh, my polycarbonate unibody, or a MacBook Pro, I believe, the aluminum. And it uh, might be the older ones too, but. Uh, I'm just gonna get into it now. So, what you're gonna need is for components, obviously your MacBook. So we'll actually slide this to the side here. You're going to need a mini DVI connector, and uh, this goes into the side of your Mac. Now, uh, is this a mini DVI? Oh, mini Display Port. Sorry, not DVI. Uh, you guys, mini Display Port connector for the for your Mac. And right here is your DVI connector. And the second component you will need is a DVI to, uh, this is HDMI cable. So this is basically going to be like a HD setup to your HD TV. So there you go. You have your uh, v VGA to, um, to DVI, uh, not VGA to DVI, um, DVI to HDMI. And then you just connect these two like so. And you twist these. Obviously, I'm not gonna uh, dumb it down for you guys because you guys, you guys probably know how to do this anyway. Um, but there you go. Simple. Then you go into the side of your MacBook here. As well, you have your uh, MagSafe, your um, your Ethernet, and your two uh, USB hubs. And right beside there is your mini DisplayPort connector. And you're just going to connect it. So it's connected there. And what you're going to do is your third component, or fourth component if you're really counting the MacBook, is um, an HDMI cord. So this is just uh, one, goes in, one end goes into your TV, and one end goes into um, the DVI um, HDMI kind of splitter thing here. So we'll plug one end here. Other way. <laughs> Alright. And then we'll go over here. I'll actually pick up the camera so you guys can see what I'm doing. Um, go over to my desk. So here's my HDTV. I have a 32 inch uh, sharp uh, Aquost with my wireless keyboard. Set it down here. Alright. So actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the camera with me. And I do have a rather long cord. So bear with me if it's shaky, you guys. I'm sorry. Um, but, all right. So I have the HDMI cord. I'm going to go in the back of my TV. So what you're going to have here, I don't know if you guys can see too well. Um, you have your HDMI, your two HDMIs. You're going to plug it into whichever one's empty. So I just plug mine in there. As you guys can see, it's this one here. Right here. So I'll just, just turn on my TV. Just gonna push it back now. Open your computer. So here's my computer screen. Now what you want to go to now what you're going to want to do go into system preferences. Okay. Now go into I believe it's sh sharing. Go into screen sharing. I have it checked off already. You're going to go to computer settings. You should probably already have your password in. Um, let's see here. It's right here. Um, okay, hold on. Oh, displays. Okay, go to displays. And. See, just trying to figure this out. Actually, appearance maybe. Um, believe it is in here. If I go to displays. Okay, but besides that, if you go to your input, you should go to your HDMI input. 
So I'm gonna go to input four. Just skipped it again. I skipped it. <laughs> um, okay. So as you've seen, my computer screen has gone blue and is back again. Okay, so here we go. There we go. Now that you're on your sharp, you see my computer screen is on there. What you're gonna want to do if you if this isn't already um, like this. Um, click mirror displays because if you click, if you unclick that, what's going to happen is um, you're going to be able to slide it. So as I slide, if I slide the wrestler MP4, it's going to show up in this screen. So if you see, um, I have it there actually. See, I'm going to slide it over off the screen, and it's going to appear on that screen, which I don't want to happen, and it's back again on the screen. So what you're going to want to do is go into Arrangement, click on Mirror Displays. Sorry for the bad quality, I macroed it up for my MacBook, I have no idea why. And now you have your full um, dock uh, at the bottom, all your status bars and everything. What you might want to do is change the picture size, like from like stretch, zoom, um, zoom out, zoom in, uh, 16 by 9, 8 by whatever. And that way it will give you a better picture. And I would suggest going by 12, uh, 1280 by 720, which is a good quality. And you can use your computer screen. You can use your, um, your, like a, how do you call it, an external speaker. I have not yet found out how to put it on the TV screen speakers for some reason. It won't work for me. Um, but what I'll do is I'll go into, uh, I'll go into iTunes, go into my movies. Okay, so on my movies, and I'll go to, see, I'll do Indiana Jones. Okay, not working. Uh, that's okay. I'm going to Space Jam. Near Space Jam. I'll turn the speakers up on my computer and hit edit. Uh, actually, uh, view. Full screen. And now, let's see. View. Full screen. Okay. Sorry for the, all the mistakes in this video, you guys. Um, so there is in full, full screen. So actually, it works out pretty well. So if I go back maybe a little bit. Full screen. And there you see is Space Jam, which is pretty cool actually. And so there you go, guys. Uh, I would suggest using a uh, wireless mouse, and I do also have my uh, Apple wireless keyboard there, which is pretty nice. Um, but this video is really long, so I don't want to bore you guys. So there it is. I showed you guys, and uh, peace out.